modern female graduate students become abandoned concubines while wearing books. They start with a bowl, bring two oil bottles, and are penniless and expelled from their homes an ex-husband who demotes his wife to a concubine, a cheap father whose abacus is shattered, and a neighbor who rubs his relatives and evil neighbors at will everyone treats her as a soft persimmon, and as a person, she wants to pinch it. Instead of consuming oneself mentally, it's better to go crazy and torture others. Now, she has traveled across time and knows how to take action see how contemporary female food bloggers from Kochi can open their golden fingers and embark on the path to wealth with their superb culinary skills and love for food. What? Did she end the arrogant and domineering villain in one pot? The son of a playboy family has reformed her. Do all the procrastinators abandoned by their biological father stand out? Those who look down on her all bow their brows and look at her face. Even the royal family is searching for someone from thousands of miles, just to see her once. A time and space overlap, see how modern women break through the encirclement and seek the path to wealth. You ignore her in the small town today, and you can't climb up to become the richest person in Daliang tomorrow. Keywords of the Novel Abandoned woman with two children at the beginning, farming and fleeing to become the richest person without a pop dot up window, abandoned woman with two children at the beginning, farming and fleeing to become the richest person. Download the complete text. Abandoned woman with two children at the beginning, farming and fleeing to become the richest person. Latest chapters for reading. Chapter 1. Catching Consorts, New Books for Collection. You are listening at novelfull.audio. The source has no content or has errors. Chapter 2. Abandoning My Concubine, New Book for Collection. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 2 Abandoning My Concubine, New Book for Collection, Fu Chunyao, who had been taught a lesson, dared not scream loudly this time, only sobbing softly. Song Yiren was busy walking towards the backyard, with a life to save. She remembers the plot in the book, and the original owner had a daughter who was three or four years old. Fu Chunyao and Sima Jiangya, a pair of dog men and women, kept their children in a chicken coop for their own pleasure and ignored them. This house is not big, just a small courtyard built in the countryside, surrounded by bamboo fences. There is a small front yard at the entrance where you can grow some fruits and vegetables. On the west side of the courtyard is an outdoor stove, with only one room in the back and a table and four chairs in the front room. The middle is separated by a cloth curtain, and there are two beds in the back room. One small bed belongs to her daughter Siinin, and the other large bed belongs to her and Sijianji. Song Yiren came out of the house and walked sideways to the backyard, where two chickens were also kept in a bamboo fence. She did find Si Yin with a blushing expression in the chicken coop. Yin Yin, be good, can I hold you out? Song Yiren coaxed softly. Yin Yin is good, mother, don't ask auntie to play Yin Yin, okay? The thin but still pink little ball in front of her blinked her big purple grape-like eyes, sparkling with tears, flickering and looking at Song Yiren. Fu Chunyao, this slut, actually beats children. Song Yiren suppressed her anger and first coaxed the dough out of the chicken coop, then reached out to hug her. The child's fair little face was stained with grey-green chicken droppings. A rope was tied to the wrist, but it was too tight, causing the entire hand to turn purple-red. Although facing the biological mother of Song Yiren, Xia Chuanzi still behaved obediently. Before Song Yiren came over, the original owner grew up in a family that prioritized sons over daughters, and like women of this era, they also valued sons over daughters, extremely ignoring this daughter. Although she is not as harsh towards her daughter as her mother Chen Lao Tai is towards her, she is also prone to scolding and ignoring, as long as someone who stutters can survive. So although Xia Chuanzi is only three or four years old, he has developed an extremely sensible and discerning personality. Song Yiren carried the child to the door and handed it to her neighborly auntie, who had just helped her. Auntie, I have some family matters to attend to today. Please help me take care of Yin Yin. Neighborly auntie's grandson, 
who is about the same age as C. E. Neen, often plays together, so Auntie naturally has no reluctance. According to Song Yiren's understanding of the plot of the original book, the one crying in the room is the female protagonist Fu Chunyao, who is the daughter of the Prime Minister Fu of the capital city. Prime Minister Fu has come from old age to have a daughter, and he dotes on her very much. And this Sima Jianya, originally named Sima Jianya, was the crown prince of the state of Qin. After failing to seize the throne, he was sent to Daliang as collateral. In the book, it is written that Sima Jianya was with the peasant girl Song Yiren before, only wanting to blend in with the villagers and avoid the surveillance of Daliang. He and Fu Chunyao are the true love. The original owner was pregnant and suddenly caught sight of his husband with other women. He was furious, had a slippery fetus, and died of a blood avalanche. Fu Chunyao then secretly stayed with Sima Jianya. Thanks to Fu Chunyao's covert protection and transmission of messages, Sima Jianya gradually gained the trust of Emperor Daliang. And with the help of Daliang, he successfully regained the position of Crown Prince of Qin State. When Sima Jianya ascended the throne as emperor, he married Fu Chunyao and began the unlimited favored wife mode. These two shameless things are becoming more noble one by one. Song Yiren searched back and forth in the courtyard for the child, pondering for a while, but still had to restrain his anger. Since you have come here, let's settle down now. She comforted herself in her heart. Because she passed through, the original owner's body and soul were able to live, so they lived their sweet life. She separated from the plot, away from the scumbag and mistress, and lived her own little life with the child, as long as they were unrelated to each other. See Jianji, take this woman and get out of the Song family village. The house, children, and all the money at home belong to me. Song Yiren said, suppressing her anger. Yi Ji and Li Xu, will never have a relationship again. Song Yiren wanted to get rid of the relationship with the dog couple as soon as possible. No way, brother Jiang Ye, you are someone who has been married before. It's unfair to me. Fu Chunyao had already sorted out her clothes and sat in a chair, looking as if she was about to cry, pulling Si Jianji's sleeve and swaying it left and right. Si Jianji sighed and fondly touched Fu Chunyao's head. So what do you want? I want you to demote her to a concubine on the grounds of jealousy, and then divorce her. Fu Chunyao's venomous gaze fixed on Song Yiren. Si Jianji paused for a moment, but only hesitated for a moment before saying, Okay. Song Yiren looked at the two of them and felt disgusted in her heart. She wished they could disappear immediately. Her thoughts were also relatively simple. Even as a modern person, she didn't care much about wives and concubines, divorce, or being divorced. She silently thought to herself that leaving these two despicable people would be a good day in the future, so she quickly agreed. After signing with Li Xu, Si Jianya hurriedly left with Fu Chunyao. It was unclear whether it was a mistake or whether he had fallen in love with Fu Chunyao, the great Buddha, and was in a hurry to restore the life of his royal relatives. He did not take any objects. Song Yiren, who had regained her freedom, felt relieved and took Xia Chuanzi back from her neighbor Aunt Li's house. Looking at Xia Chuanzi's quiet and sleeping face, Song Yiren couldn't help but feel a chill in her heart. She had no parents in modern times, grew up in an orphanage, was not married, and had no children. She was always alone. Now that she's wearing a book, there's a beautiful little ball with big eyes and this one in her belly, connected by blood, which means she hasn't lived in vain once. But adding two children on my own, filling my stomach now is also a problem. With this in mind, Song Yiren placed the small ball on a slightly thicker bed and began to search for money and supplies at home. In half an hour, the entire yard and house were searched and wiped out Song Yiren just wanted to look up and sigh. I thought I was poor, I never thought I was so poor there is no food in the front yard, and it's not that there are no crops. The main ones were planted, but her lazy mother pulled them out and ate them. There are two chickens laying eggs in the backyard, but one of them is not. When her mother comes, she will take it away as a way to nourish her younger siblings. 
In addition to the decorations, there is also a basket of old corn cobs in the room. In addition, seven copper plates are laid under the big bed. Even if there is only one bowl on the bowl rack, in the kitchen, it still leaves a gap in the mouth Song Yiren secretly sighed to herself, Sima Jianya, this weak young man, can really pretend. The whole family of the prince uses a notched bowl Song Yiren sat on the doorstep, with a small ball lying on the bed inside and one in his stomach good guy, others who travel through time and wear books are princesses and queens. Me, start with a bowl and bring two oil bottles. Song Yiren was pondering deeply on how to fill his stomach in the future when he heard a loud shout at the door. Song Daya, my husband came back with me today. Hurry up and kill one of your chickens and send it over. End of this chapter. Chapter 3 Chu Yun, New Book Seeking Collection You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 3 Chu Yun, New Book Seeking Collection you had too much fun on July 15th and forgot to go home. What happened? You spoke so terrifyingly. Song Yiren still sat on the threshold. You, you. You. The mother of the original owner was pregnant and married her current husband Song Yi. After giving birth to Song Yi, she also had two children, Song Chu Yun and Song Bin, with Song Yi. Song Chu Yun was already married and his mother and father accompanied her with an unknown amount of dowry before marrying her to a scholar. It was she who came today. What are you, coming to my house to kill my chicken? Are you having a bad stomach and pulling your brain out? Song Yiren, have you eaten the bear's heart and leopard's courage? How dare you talk to me like this? Song Chuyun viciously shook the thin courtyard door, wanting to enter. Song Yiren stood up boldly, just as she had been angry with Sima Jianya and Su Chunyao this morning. Considering their identities, her anger had not yet dissipated. Song Yiren grabbed the woman's hair bun that was curled up behind Song Chuyun's head and pulled it backwards. In the early Song dynasty, Yun was not diligent at home, did not distinguish between grains, and did not touch the spring water with ten fingers. I just got married, and with those dowries, I have been showing off my power in my husband's family for a while. Nobody can compare to the original owner who has been doing household chores and farm work since childhood. Moreover, before Song Yiren came over, she also practiced comprehensive combat. Flower fists and embroidered legs are enough for Song Chuyun to drink a pot. Song Chuyun was crying and howling, and was grabbed by Song Yiren's hair. His head and even body were tilted back and his hands were wildly waving and grabbing in the air. Song Yiren, you bastard, I will definitely tell my parents when I go back. Let them beat you to death, you little slut, he cursed with a dirty expression Song Yiren doesn't care about her screams. In her memory, this younger sister was lazy and ate a lot. She snatched the clothes and food from the female protagonist since childhood. The original protagonist would secretly marry Sima Jianya, whom she rescued, for life, and establish her own family. Isn't it because she couldn't survive in the original family? Let's forget about all the hard work all day long. Even if she doesn't give people enough food, Song Chuyun, the second sister, even instigated her stepfather to sell her to a second-rate son in the county as a concubine. If she didn't comply, her parents would beat her to death. Song Chuyun pulled her mother and said, If I kill her, it would be a waste of time. It's better to be my father's concubine. The whole family is despicable, and the original owner is really at a loss thinking of this, Song Yiren took out an attitude of venting her anger and seeking revenge for the original owner. She grabbed her hair with one hand and freed up the other, slapping Song Chuyun's face one after another. Song Yiren. No sister, it's my mistake. Sister, don't hit me. However, after a while, Song Chuyun obediently learned and began to beg for mercy. Song Yiren had fought enough, released her hand, pushed her backwards, and fell to the ground. I clapped my hands as if brushing off some dirt. Seeing Mad Sister let herself go, Song Chuyun crawled away in a row. Song Yiren stood in the yard, 
finally having time to take a look at the house at home. When she was reading novels, she knew that her home was poor and dilapidated, but it was too shabby the four walls are all built with soil, not soil. Song Yiren lived in an orphanage in the countryside, how could he not know the secret behind it? The soil was sturdy and durable, but time got consuming and laborious. Song Yiren thought angrily, the dog man Sima chose to live on a mound, but he had no intention of staying there for a long time. The windows have several openings on the earthen wall, and inside are covered with mats made of reed and straw. During the day, the mats are rolled up to provide ventilation. Put down the mat at night. But it is not sealed, and the mat is also leaking air and rain. When the wind and rain are strong, it will all pour into the house. The roof is also a thin beam, with sorghum and reed straw on both sides. It's raining heavily outside, and there's a light rain inside. The wind is so strong that even people and their houses have to be swept away. The door of the house is made up of three wooden boards, which are irregularly shaped and form many gaps. The original owner stuffed some reeds into the gaps. Concealing one's ears and stealing the bell. It's late summer now, and this dilapidated house is still good for sheltering from wind and rain. But Songjiazwang is to the north of Dalian, and it snows in winter. When snowflakes drift, the house may feel very cold. This village is called Songjiazwang, located in the northern part of Dalian. Although it is not the northernmost and cannot match the cold of modern northeast, the winter temperature is also lower, at least colder than the imperial capital. Moreover, in this era, there were no heated kong, only carbon pots. Rich families may be able to afford to burn earth dragons, and the villagers of Songjiazwang should not even think about it. Until November, when it snows, whether this dilapidated house can block the wind and snow is a matter. Hey, with the snowflakes drifting, how can we live these days? Song Yiren couldn't help but support her forehead, this life experience card is very difficult. Just as Song Yiren was thinking about what the original owner would do at this time, a clang sound came from the room. She heard the sound and quickly entered the room. She looked at Si Yinin lying on the ground, probably malnourished. Her small body was very petite, making her eyes very big. Her fear of her mother could be seen in those big eyes. Mom, I. I want to get out of bed. Little Tuanzi rubbed her eyes, clearly just waking up from sleep. Although she had just fallen, she stood up nimbly. Mother, look at the sound, Song Yiren said anxiously when she heard the sound of the child falling. But it scared little Tuanzi. Little Tuanzi couldn't help but dodge backwards, so scared that tears were already swirling in her big eyes. She was afraid of her mother, and even more so, she was afraid that her mother wouldn't want her anymore. Song Yiren bent down and looked at Zia Chuanzi level with her, saying, I'm not scolding you, don't be afraid of your pronunciation. Song Yiren tried to use a gentle tone and reached out to touch Zia Chuanzi's head, but it scared Zia Chuanzi and she could only give up. She wandered to the kitchen, scooped a bowl of brown rice from the rice bowl, washed it, and put it into the pot. When she cooked rice porridge, she found a small piece of stone honey, which was the sugar with low purity in ancient times. Boiling water poured the stone honey into the pot, and then poured the egg of the fish that missed the net into it. Although she was a food blogger before she wore the book, a clever woman cannot cook without rice. I can only make a sugary egg for the children. Entering the room, holding the timid little ball, sat at the table. Zia Chuanzi stared at the bowl of sweet protein eggs on the table, drooling and trying to eat them, but didn't dare to say anything. However, he consciously moved the brown rice porridge to his face and gently pushed the sugared eggs to the Song Yi people. Song Yiren let out a sigh in her heart, and it was as if the original owner had picked up this eldest daughter. What a sin! Song Yiren spoke up and said, Sugar water eggs are for Yin Yin, eat Yin Yin quickly. After hearing these words, Zia Chuanzi still timidly dared not move his chopsticks. Mother, Yin Yin doesn't like to eat sugary eggs. Yin Yin can work, and as Yin Yin grows up, she can exchange dowry for her younger brother. 
don't lose Enin. She said as she slid down the chair, knelt on the ground, and kowtowed, her forehead touching the ground at a young age, making a thud. Song Yiren was taken aback and suddenly remembered that the original owner had said he would send Si Enin to someone else's house as a child bride, exchange dowry for his future son, save some food, and earn some silver. This remark was memorized by the little girl in her heart. She sighed again, thinking that she couldn't change little Tuanzi's fear of herself for a moment. She could only say with a tiger face, eat the sugar water and eggs quickly, or else mom will be angry. I'll eat, I'll eat. Mom, don't get angry. Little Tuanzi choked and finally finished eating a portion of sugar water eggs. Song Yiren was looking at Zaya Chuanzi with relief when she suddenly heard a loud shout. Song Yiren, are your wings hard? You found a man to start your own business and then you drifted up. How dare you attack your sister? Get out of here. End of this chapter. Chapter 4 Chen Lao Tai, Seeking Collection You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 Chen Lao Tai Seeking collection, Song Yiren took back the pitiful gaze that fell on Xia Chuanzi and went out to open the door. The person who came is the mother of the original owner, Chen Maxiang and Chen Lao Tai. Now Xia Chuanzi fell directly from the chair and hid under the table. Xia Chuanzi was even more afraid of this biological grandmother on a daily basis, and knew that selling it to someone else as a child bride was her idea. Mrs. Chen wore a dark red embroidered forehead with a black background, and tied a low bun at the back of her head. Her hair was smooth and shiny, obviously pursed with hair oil. The original owner had one in twenty, and old Lady Chen was only in her forties. But the year dot round life of a village woman has made her skin no longer delicate. The old skin on her face is piled up with layers of dust, like twisted old tree roots exposed on the ground. Even so, one can still catch a glimpse of Mrs. Chen's youthful demeanor. Both Song Yiren and Song Chuyun inherited Chen Laotai's beauty, with only their youngest son Song Bin resembling their father Song Yi. Mrs. Chen was kicking the door, thinking she was going to argue with her through the door, but she didn't expect Song Yiren to open the door so happily. She stumbled and knocked onto the ground, gritting her teeth and lifting a cloud of dust. Unfamiliar daughter, why don't you come over and help me? Old Lady Chen glared fiercely at Song Yiren. Seeing her standing silently, Old Lady Chen muttered unfilial daughter and quickly got up from the ground. She approached and wanted to kick Song Yiren, but was cleverly avoided by her. Raising you so big, you've been with a man for nothing. The filial piety we agreed upon back then is to have a chicken this month. Mother, my family is poor, I am pregnant and my pronunciation is still young. Song Yiren had some ups and downs in her heart. Just as she wore it, her body was still pregnant for five or six months. Chen Lao Tai and the pampered Fu Chunyao were different, it was a tough problem. I used to tear apart various masters and aunties with my hands, and my combat power exploded. It's better to avoid conflicts if possible. At first, she and Sima Jiangye were secretly engaged for life. Chen Lao Tai and Song Yi did not receive the dowry, so they naturally refused to give up and quarreled for several months. It was only then that they agreed to pay filial piety every month in the future. It's said to be filial piety every month, but there's no fixed number. Mrs. Chen just comes to search for it on a daily basis. The original owner was weak and always concerned about family affection and nurturing, and was actually exploited alive for several years. You can't tell me if you're poor or not. Let your dead man fight for his life and show filial piety to his parents. How can you be vague? Hurry up and catch the chicken, I'll take it and leave. Your brothel is so hot. Although it's late summer, the courtyard of Song Yiren is located at the head of the village, not as close to the cliff as Hotsuan. There is water below the cliff, which is cool. Moreover, the maintenance of her yard layout is too poor, and there is no cool breeze like other houses in the village, making it extremely hot and stuffy. Old Lady Chen was so hot that she was sweating profusely. 
She didn't look her eldest daughter in the eye, so as not to think of the injury on her second daughter's face and want to give her a beating. After all, although her man was good dot looking, his eyes were always cold and cold, mother, chickens are definitely not good. Without chickens, I won't be able to live anymore. Song Yiren grabbed Chen Laotai's wrist and squeezed it hard. Old Lady Chen shuddered when she remembered the way her second daughter had just returned, but she persisted and said, three bushels of rice and grain, we can't lose any more. Mom, go see it yourself. The whole family won't be able to scrape three dough of rice. Mrs. Chen really swaggered into the courtyard, and when she saw the girl sleeping under the table, she was even more infuriated. Damn girl, just like your mother, she's a lazy loser and a loser. Mrs. Chen pulled out a small ball from under the table and twisted it up. Xia Chuanzi was already afraid, but her thigh was pinched purple again, and she cried out in fear. You are such a white-necked dumb beetle, different from others. Song Yiren listened to Xiao Tuanzi's tears, her heart breaking. She stepped forward and comforted the little ball, but couldn't help but scold Mrs. Chen. Even if the grandmother doesn't hurt the child, there's no need for her to be so vicious, right? Malicious. You raised you so much that you can't even give up some filial piety. Are you still calling me malicious? Old Lady Chen was so angry that she rolled over Song Yiren's two white eyes and stepped into the chicken coop, driving the two chickens to flutter and fly randomly. Chasing one of them into the chicken coop, Mrs. Chen reached her head in and grabbed it a few times before finally grabbing the chicken in her hand. Mother, if you take the chicken, my child and I won't be able to survive. Song Yiren said urgently. My dilapidated house is leaking tiles. I don't even have enough food to eat in winter. Wait a few days, I will definitely deliver it to you. And there is also filial piety from my second sister. I can also help my family with work. I won't starve you to death. By relying on them, shouldn't I? Old Lady Chen almost fell for this little slut's way and immediately changed her mind. They belong to them, you just need to hand over your filial piety. But you saw it yourself, my mother. My family is currently poor and destitute, with no rice or food. Song Yiren took into account the family relationship between the original owner and Chen Lao Tai, after all, this mother raised the original owner, but at this moment, her heart was cold. The original owner's life is not as good as being an orphan in his previous life. Xia Chuanzi is as thin as a stick. Although the original owner favored boys over girls and didn't like to see Xia Chuanzi as a girl, being exploited by her family for years and months was also the fundamental reason for Xia Chuanzi's lack of food and clothing. Mrs. Chen was carrying chicken wings and was about to charge towards the gate with just one swift step. At this moment, a small hand grabbed Mrs. Chen's hem. Grandma, this is my chicken, said Xia Chuanzi, looking up at her face and staring at her big, watery eyes, what's in your family? Your mother was born to me, Mrs. Chen pushed away the little bun. You loser. Just like your mother. Xia Chuanzi was small and had little strength. He was pushed and sat on the ground, rubbing his hands against the gravel. His skin and flesh were mixed with gravel and blood, sticking together, and it hurt to look at him. Sound. Song Yiren panicked and hugged Xia Chuanzi in her arms, glaring angrily at Mrs. Chen. Mom, I've made up my mind to take the lives of us girls. I'm not afraid of dreaming back in the middle of the night and being killed by unjust souls. Who are you scaring? Mrs. Chen sneered and rolled her eyes, carrying the chicken as she was about to leave. There are only two chickens at home, which can be considered property. Song Yiren knew she couldn't let old lady Chen take the chickens. She took little Tuanzi and little Shu Er with her, and they had no other food to eat. By then, the three of them had only one way, which was to die. She stood up with a small ball in her arms, taking a quick step at the entrance of the courtyard, blocking in front of Mrs. Chen. She sang and sighed loudly, Mother wants all three of us to die. She's going to take away the only chicken in our family. The villagers are judging. 
Whoever marries their daughter to their house in the future will not be rubbed to death. Shut up. You slut, loser. Mrs. Chen's face turned pale with anger at Song Yiren's words, and she threw a chicken to cover her mouth. Mrs. Chen's hand, which had just grabbed the chicken, smelled of chicken droppings, making Song Yiren nauseous. Mrs. Chen reluctantly let go and instead pulled Song Yiren. You're a loser who wants to tarnish your brother's reputation. If it affects his marriage, let me kill you. Song Yiren sneered, she had to use her precious son as a raft to make it work. Chen Lao Tai and her stepfather Song Yi both value sons over daughters. Chen Lao Tai gave birth to Song Bin as her son after giving birth to two children. She is still an old man and dotes on him very much. At the age of 14 or 15, it's time for matchmaking. Old Lady Chen is precious and doesn't like this girl or that girl. Song Yuan was dragged into the house by Old Lady Chen. Dia, I won't make things difficult for you today. Your second sister is going back to her parents' house and you can't let her uncle see a joke anymore. I can give you a ten-day grace on this filial piety, and in ten days, I'll have to stew this chicken. You also keep quiet about today. If you go out and talk nonsense, I'll tear your mouth apart. Seeing off Mrs. Chen, Song Yiren watched as Xia Chuanzi drooled at the chicken. End of this chapter Chapter 5 Ideas for Getting Rich you are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 5 Ideas for Getting Rich Do Inin Want to Eat Stewed Chicken? Song Yiren held on to Xia Chuanzi's hand, her bony little hand indicating that it was caused by long dot term malnutrition. Xia Chuanzi nodded and shook his head violently. Inin will eat less, Inin. She can also help her mother with work. Don't send Inin to be a child bride. As she spoke, Tears welled up in her eyes, and memories of the original owner came to mind in Song Yiren's mind. Song Yiren was often subjected to the Chen family's harassment and followed Chen's preference for sons over daughters. He held a grudge against Xiao Tuanzi for being a girl and took it out on him. This child appears to be fine on the surface, but wherever he can't see it, its injuries poked out by hairpins and embroidered needles. Inin, come here. The young man smiled and lowered his volume, saying as softly as possible. Mother, the pronunciation is wrong. Xia Chuanzi saw Song Huan calling her over, thinking she was going to be beaten again. She shrank back and scared herself to the point of peeing in her pants, but still dared not cry loudly, sobbing softly. Oh, this is really a sin. The original owner is pitiful and hateful. Song Yuren cursed inwardly. The original owner used to secretly torture little Tuanzi. Little Tuanzi was so scared that he would hide his head, thinking that his mother would not be able to see him. Then she remained motionless and trembled in place, but it was imaginable that she would still be discovered by the original owner. Waiting for her was to pick her up and beat her severely. Over time, she developed a fear of wetting her pants, and it didn't get better until she was three or four years old. And when the original owner found out that she had wet her pants, it was another beating, Yin Yin, the chicken can't be eaten yet. When my mother earns money, she will definitely stew the chicken for you. Now let's wash it first and then change our pants, okay? Yiren said confidently, seeming to be a promise to Xiao Tuanzi, but actually making a promise to herself. Xia Chuanzi stared at her with big, watery eyes that had just cried, unsure if she understood, but still nodded obediently. Song Yiren lifted the lid of the water tank and there was a large tank of water, enough to wash the small bowl. Otherwise, although it's summer, the well water just dug up is still too cold. After scooping up water in the basin, Xia Chuanzi took off her pants and obediently sat in to wash herself. Looking at the little girl who had taken off her clothes, her whole body was covered in small wounds. Although she had the memories of the original owner and had already known all of this, she couldn't help but be shocked and heartbroken. Song Yuren's eyes wet for no reason. Although this child has parents, he is not as good as his childhood life in an orphanage. Inin is so good. 
she covered herself with a blanket and lay down. Mom will go make you something delicious, okay? Mom, you're so kind. The child was so easy to coax, and Song Yiren laughed. Song Yiren came out of the room, secretly wiped away her tears, and headed straight to the chicken coop behind the house. There was not a single egg left in the house, and it was all plundered by Mrs. Chen. Watching the sun set towards the west, Song Yiren decided to take a chance and see if the chicken had laid eggs today. Sure enough. There is a still hot egg in the chicken coop. Song Yiren returned to the earthen stove in the front yard carrying eggs, and then went to the bedroom to rummage through boxes and cabinets, searching for the small bag of white flour that the original owner remembered. Finally, two wilted scallions were found in the front yard. It's probably Chen Lao Tai's catch. Song Yiren knocked open the eggs and smashed them into the large bowl with a notch, adding some salt to break them up. Add the white flour in batches, stirring while adding water until thick but flowing, and then add the chopped scallions as well. According to the original owner's memory, Song Yiren found a large jar in the corner of the room. Perhaps it was summer, and the original owner was afraid of damage, so he deliberately left it in a cool and shady place. I dug a large piece of meat oil from the jar, put it in the pot, stir-fry it, and then add egg flour mixture. The strong firewood stove, with a large amount of oil and farmhouse eggs, immediately diffused the fragrance. Song Yi Ren is a master of agriculture and a food blogger, but it may be because the ingredients are not as good as in ancient times. She has never made such delicious egg cakes in modern times, and she felt that her mouth was watering. An egg, with a little flour, has more eggs and less noodles, more lard, and the egg cake is extremely fragrant. The Song Yi people washed the bowl of beaten eggs, filled it with the freshly made egg cake, carried it to the square table in the room, and greeted the small dumpling to eat. Xia Chuanzi had long smelled the crispy flavor, with bright eyes, sitting at the fourth table, just slightly higher than the table. She couldn't help but extend her hand and retract it. Mom, you eat. Usually, eggs are stolen by old lady Chen and occasionally there are fish that slip through the net to help Song Yiren recover and have a son. In the words of the original owner, what kind of eggs does a little girl eat? So big that the little bun has never eaten an egg before. Mom has eaten it, these are not edible, they sound delicious. Hearing this, Xia Chuanzi boldly put out his hand, picked up a small piece of egg cake, and peeked at Song Yi again. Seeing that she did not respond, he took it in his hand and bit her. It's so hot, mother. Little Tuanzi quickly shed tears in her eyes, but she didn't spit it out and swallowed it. She was so anxious that Song Yiren almost grabbed it. Inin, next time you eat something hot, spit it out. Mother, Inin is already a waste of food and cannot vomit. This was exactly what the original owner said, and Xia Chuanzi's childish voice repeated it, appearing even more cruel. Song Yiren tightly hugged the little ball and shook it while saying, Inin is not a waste of food. Inin is the cutest treasure of a mother. So in the future, you can spit out anything that burns your mouth or doesn't taste good. Xia Chuanzi seemed to understand, and then waved the egg cake in his hand. Mom, it's delicious, even more fragrant than the cake my grandma bought for my little uncle. I've smelled it. The words of Xiao Tuanzi suddenly inspired Song Yi people. Maybe egg cakes can make money. Eggs, if you save them at home, you can have a few. Flour costs three copper coins per kilogram, and onions can be grown by yourself. In addition, there is lard. I have a pottery pot at home. How can I make an egg cake of more than 10 jean? Selling this kind of food is usually done in schools, factories, shopping malls, subway stations, and other places with dense pedestrian traffic. But in ancient times, those who went to school were children from wealthy families, and the family did not necessarily order them to eat this kind of food. Large venues are all controlled by the government and cannot sell goods. 
In ancient times, there were no shopping malls or subway entrances when she was at a loss, Song Yiren suddenly remembered that according to the original owner's memory, there was a dock in the town. Except for the deep winter when the river freezes, there are a large number of workers hovering on the dock for the other three seasons, working as laborers for loading and unloading. Work more, earn more and eat more, which is exactly the target of Song Yi people selling egg cakes. But egg cakes are more expensive after all. They cost two coppers each. You can also make some cheap corn cakes, two per copper plate, so that ordinary men can eat enough. End of this chapter. Chapter 6 Market Rush You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 Market Rush Song Yuren took advantage of the fact that it was not dark and went to the nearest Lee auntie's house, which was the one who helped her speak during the last argument with the dog couple. The village is large and there aren't as many people, so not every household is adjacent. For example, her home is at the entrance of the village, and it takes about 30 to 50 meters to have a family. The nearest one is Aunt Lee's house. Although the original owner didn't treat her biological daughter very well, she had a soft personality. In addition, the villagers always knew that this girl had been exploited by her parents, so most of them pitied her. If there was a need, they could lend a helping hand. Humph, the original owner is really a typical nest horizontal, picking and pinching persimmons so soft. Song Yuren snorted coldly. I inquired about the town market, docks, and other conditions with Antley, and agreed to go to the town to go to the market the next day. I also agreed to entrust little Tuanzi to Aunt Lee's eldest daughter. In law, Su Juan, the next day. The next morning, before dawn, Song Yiren woke up. In ancient times, there was no alarm clock or anything. She was afraid of getting up late and delaying the market, so she didn't sleep soundly all night and woke up completely early. She got up to wash and made two bowls of soup with only a little flour left. She and Zaya Chuanzi each had one bowl. Een Een, mom is going out. Een Een goes to Grandma Lee's house and plays with Tsueshi and Ernyo with her younger brother. Mom earns money to make delicious food for Een Een. Mom, then you must come back and answer the music. Little Tuanzi was still worried that Song Yiren might throw her away. Song Yiren packed her backpack and carried the seven copper coins in her pocket. Just as Li Ante passed by her doorstep outside the village, she called out to her. Aunt Li's eldest daughter Dot in Dot Law also followed and picked up the little bun. About ten miles to the town, there is an ox cart to ride on, but it costs money. Each person has one round trip and one copper plate. Song Yiren and Li Ante decided to walk in order to save money. Anyway, they left early and the road was not too far. On the way, Aunt Lee and Song Yiren chatted aimlessly. Irene, yesterday that woman had a scene, but today she won't see your husband. What happened in the end? Auntie, don't mention him again. I'll take my two children with me in the future. Song Yiren said, holding her stomach. Iron, don't be too talkative about me. Auntie, as you grow up, how much hardship have you endured since childhood to have what you are today? How can you live as a woman with two children from now on? You can tolerate that woman, maybe. This day can also go on. Auntie, I know you are kind, but I'm not the only one who has the final say in this matter. In the future, I will have to work hard to live for the two children, but you also know that my mother's family is like that, so please give me a hand. Iron quickly took the opportunity to attract help and make plans for future life in this world. Ah. It's possible. I see you speak and act with ease today, and I feel happy too. After all this trouble, you are no longer as soft as before. Auntie is also happy for you. Although Lee Auntie is still worried, she also enjoys her cheerful and agile appearance, holding Song Yiren's hand. Just now, Aunt Lee's joyful color suddenly changed. Auntie, just say what you have. I'm like this now and I need your guidance. What guidance? I'm not the gentleman in that school either. Just. 
Your old lady, yesterday she inquired about you and your husband in the village. Sooner or later, they need to know. They wanted to make you a concubine, but now they don't know what they're up to. Be careful. Song Yiren thanked her, but didn't take it too seriously. She was only twenty years old, and although she was still a little girl in modern times, she was already a lady here, let alone carrying a child and carrying one in her belly. Speaking, we arrived at the market in the town. Sister-in-law, take a look at the fresh river fish today. Rice and noodles. They're half a penny cheaper than food shops. Song Yiren held seven copper coins and strolled around, pondering the distribution in his heart. The market is indeed cheaper, with two and a half cents and one pound of white noodles. Corn noodles are cheap, only one one and one jean. You can buy two or three pounds of brown rice for one one. Green vegetables are just the right time now, even a copper coin can buy one pound. Meat is expensive. One kilogram of pork costs twelve copper coins, but pork offal and pig trotters are very cheap. They are usually sold by the meat seller, who only sells two or three copper coins and takes away the whole piece. Don't think about beef, whether it's in Daliang or neighboring countries, it belongs to farming countries. Cattle are the main labor force and are not allowed to be slaughtered without reason. But if there is any disability, it can be reported to the government and slaughtered after obtaining approval. Therefore, wealthy families may disable a few cows every year, but ordinary families may not necessarily have enough beef to eat once a year. One kilogram of eggs earns five copper coins, and these days, eggs are all plain eggs with little distinction between good and bad. By the way, I also inquired about the wages of the workers on the dock. They managed to stay and didn't care about food. The basic daily wage was 30 copper coins. But if you work an extra hour, you will receive an additional 4 copper coins, and most people will work an extra hour to subsidize their household expenses. In the end, Song Yiren's backpack contained over a pound of white flour, which cost 3 copper coins. 1 kilogram of corn flour per copper plate. I bought another penny of brown rice. I think there is still half a can of lard at home that can be used for a while. Song Yiren stood in front of the pork shop, tightly gripping the last three copper coins, his palms slightly sweating. Meat shop lady, how do you sell this water and pig trotters? This thing is not easy to tidy up, I don't know how much flour and salt it will cost. The pork vendors were a couple, with the man behind, chopping something with his back to Song Yiren and the woman standing in front of the shop, answering the customers who came to buy things correctly. It's okay, lady. Just tell me how to sell it. Take all the three one, and I won't keep this dirty thing anymore. The butcher shop lady saw that the woman was pregnant and her clothes were average, so she didn't ask for much. The search lady sighed in her heart. They are all poor people, why bother? Maiden of the meat shop, my family is poor, and the man has died again. I am pregnant, and there is a three-year-old man in my family who is waiting for food. Two copper coins, please take care of me, and I will come to your stall from now on, okay? Song Yiren smiled at Maiden of the Meat Shop in a pleasing manner. The butcher shop lady hesitated for a while, perhaps remembering the hardships of getting pregnant and having children, and finally spoke up, here you are, little lady. You are so young and widowed, and the days ahead. The meat shop lady is also a kind-hearted person. Those who don't ask this young lady to visit or not are just widowed ladies and children who can't even afford to eat water for a while. All right. Thank you, Mrs. Meat Shop. I will definitely come again next time. Song Yiren's eyes widened, their eyes sparkling, and she thanked Mrs. Meat Shop with a smile on her lips. The butcher shop lady looked at the young lady who looked so outstanding in front of her, but unfortunately lost her husband, and smiled sincerely. She couldn't help but feel a little more pity and responded, ah. Because there is something in the backpack, walking slows down. Although it was only ten miles from the town back to Songjiazwang, I walked hard for almost an hour. At the entrance of the village, Song Yiren put his backpack back home, 
and the door was not locked. He followed Aunt Lee to her house to pick up the little bun. I didn't expect to hear Aunt Lee's eldest daughter dot in dot law crying as soon as I entered the yard. End of this chapter. Chapter 7. Picking Mountain Goods. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 7 Picking Mountain Goods Lee Auntie also heard her eldest daughter dot in dot law Sujuan crying and anxiously thought, isn't it that brat from the boss who wants to do business with cargo ships in the south again? The eldest wife is still pregnant with one, how can she afford to be so angry every three days or two? After pondering so much, Aunt Lee couldn't help but quicken her pace, opened the courtyard door, and headed into the room. Song Yiren didn't dare to neglect her, worried in her heart. Whether it was her own small group that caused any trouble, Lee Auntie's two children were both about the same age as the small group, and the children were causing trouble. Mother. Why are you here? Song Yiren saw old lady Chen sitting cross-legged on the Kong, with a white porcelain bowl on the table, filled with brown sugar eggs. There is still a hanging of salted pork in the pot next to her legs. Sujuan's sister Dot in Dot Law held a small ball in her arms, with a hesitant expression. Her eldest daughter Tsueshi, along with her second son Erniu, sat on their own ponies on the ground, wiping away their tears. At first glance, Song Yiren didn't understand anything. It must have been his own mother who falsely accused someone else's plain silk sister. Dot in Dot Law. Mom, hurry up and get off the Kong for me to go home. Song Yiren stepped forward and tugged at old lady Chen. Auntie, Auntie, Auntie Su, these things my mother ate, I will definitely return them in the future, he said to sister Su and Aunt Li, let go of you. Old lady Chen brushed Song Yiren away with disgust, but exerted great strength. Song Yiren was unprepared and was pushed down by old lady Chen, sitting on the ground. Sister Su and Aunt Li quickly stepped forward to help Song Yiren. Mrs. Chen, you are also a grandfather, and you still treat her like this. You are not afraid of retribution. Aunt Li was furious. What's wrong? What's wrong with me? Song Daya was born to me. How could you give her any advice, you old man? Old Lady Chen looked up and poured brown sugar eggs into her mouth, holding the piece of salted pork as she was about to leave. You, you. Aunt Lee is a kind hearted person who has not interacted with rude and unreasonable people like Mrs. Chen for many years. You, you, and you have been together for a long time, but she hasn't said anything. Mother, either you put down this piece of meat, or I will spread the news about Song Bin and Huan Yang in the Xinghua building. He won't want to marry a wife in his lifetime. Song Iron looked coldly at Chen Lao Tai. Originally, the original owner didn't know about this matter, but Song Iron read the whole book and knew that at this time, Song Bin not only spent money like water in the Xinghua building in the county, but also entangled with the little woman in the dark door. Song Yiren. You, you. You heartless little prostitute. Binner is your younger brother. You're talking nonsense about him. Are you talking nonsense? You have a clear idea in your heart, I'm afraid he's going to drain your entire family. This pork was given to me by their family Su Wan. If you don't believe me, you can ask. Song Yiren looked at Su Juan's sister dot in dot law with confusion, and finally stopped crying. She spoke up, Aunt Chen heard that Yiren had been laid off by a man, so she wanted to sell Yinin. I, I was entrusted by Yiren and her mother to take care of the child, so I can't have someone sell it. Don't talk about those useless things, just say, did you give this piece of pork in exchange for this dead girl? Old Lady Chen didn't look at Song Yiren with a guilty heart, only pointing at the small group of people huddled behind her plain silk sister. In. Law. Mother. Song Bin didn't just go to the Apricot Blossom Tower, did he? You have a clear idea, there's nothing dirty or smelly about that secret door. Song Yiren threatened her expressionlessly. Thea, I'm doing this for your own good. Your man doesn't even want you anymore. You're carrying two oil bottles, and you can't live anymore. Mrs. Chen looked so hard that she immediately changed her face. 
If you sell this dead girl, I will assign her to find a good family and enjoy her life. This one in your belly has also been sold since birth, and you must be a boy with a sharp belly. The boy is still good to sell. Old Lady Chin seemed to have seen the money for selling this child and smiled happily. Damn it, with your good looks, I'll find another husband's family. Mother. Do you want me to say it again? Song Bin is still studying at the county school, and the children are having sex with prostitutes. Hee <laughs> hee. Song Daya. You shut up. Old Lady Chen threw the pork back into the basin and said angrily, Song Daya, if I hear rumors outside, don't worry about me tearing up your mouth. And you Li family. Mrs. Chen glared fiercely at the Li family all over the room, not even letting go of the young Tsueishi and Ernyo. Randomly walked out of the room and headed home. Mrs. Chen was pondering in her heart how Song Daya knew about this matter. Isn't it that little rascal Song Bin who was showing off everywhere? While smacking the brown sugar and egg flavor in my mouth, it's so fragrant. Song Yiren helped his silk sister Dot in Dot Law sit on the Kong, apologizing and thanking her, promising to bring brown sugar and eggs in the future. Aunt Lee and Sister Sue didn't care, saying, as long as the child has nothing to do, it's good and reminding her to be more careful not to let the child fall into Mrs. Chen's trap and lose it again. After such a fuss, Song Yiren came out of the Lee family with a small group, and the sun was almost hanging in the center of her head. Upon returning home, Song Yiren went to the chicken coop and indeed found two eggs. I steamed a bowl of egg custard for Zia Chuanzi and made a corn flour cake for myself. I quickly led Zia Chuanzi and walked towards the village with a basket on my back. According to the original owner's memory, there is a high cliff at the end of Songjiazwang village. On one side below the cliff is the river, and on the other side is indeed a dense forest of trees. Just a hundred meters ahead of the village entrance, there is a small path that leads straight to the river and forest at the end of the village. This season is when there is a lot of rain and there are wild vegetables and fungi in the forest, which are the most delicious. While the sun was still high, Song Yiren kept picking more and went back to make white flour pancakes filled with mushrooms or wild vegetable corn pancakes, which were both excellent. In this era, in most ordinary households, cooking is done by putting vegetables in a pot and stewing them with water. They may not be willing to add salt and lard, let alone other seasonings. Cooking and making pancakes is like flipping them in a pot, and once they're cooked, they can't even bear to put some lard, let alone any filling. Of course, the restaurants in the city are different from those in wealthy families, as they value both color, aroma, and taste. Song Yi thought that his egg cake, mushroom pie, and wild vegetable corn cake should be popular. The wild vegetables and mushrooms collected by Song Yiren were packed in half of a backpack basket, and he led the little bun home. The little bun shook Song Yiren's hand, obviously very happy. Mom. You came to answer the music today, and the music is so happy. Little Tuanzi said with a milky and serious voice. As long as the mother is alive, she will come to find Inin, understand. Song Yiren thought. The child was still young, and this timid and afraid of being abandoned personality could still be changed. In this era, it is also common for children to be abducted, and the biological father of this child is still Sima Jianya, the prince of the state of Chen. If one day he really ascends to the throne, if he thinks of this child, it will probably be another fierce battle. It is also good to establish safety awareness and prevention awareness for children early on. Little Tuanzi nodded in confusion. Yin Yin, can we make a three-chapter agreement with you? Zaya Chuanzi didn't know what the three chapters of the constitution meant, but still nodded obediently. Firstly, no matter who wants to take you away, don't go. You have to ask your mother before you can leave. Secondly, if you get lost with your mother, stay still and she will definitely come to find you. Thirdly, the most important thing is that your mother will never want you. Remember. Little Tuanzi, I don't know if she didn't understand or remember, but she's still confused. But Song Yiren thought, 
It's not urgent at this moment. End of this chapter. Chapter 8. Small Business. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 8 Small Business Song Yuren took her faintly back home and arranged for a small group to play in the yard. She could see her at any time and was busy working on the stove in the yard. Boil water, soak the pig's water in it, set the pig's trotters on fire and burn off any remaining pig hair. I picked up a large basket of plant ash and used it to scrub the pig water. Song Yuren used a large stove to boil a large pot of water, scooped out a large basin for washing clothes, and soaked half of it in the pig water he bought this afternoon for three one. At the same time, he washed the banana leaves picked by the river. In this era, people usually use flour and salt to clean pig offal, and they also need more flour and salt to remove the fishy smell of pig offal. But as a modern food blogger, Song Yuren knows that plant ash is not only cheap and easy to obtain, but also has better utility. After everything was sorted out, it was then placed in a basin in a cellar that had not been used for 800 years at home. Although it was fresh on the same day, it was summer at this time, and Song Yi was afraid that it would spoil if left overnight. Fortunately, Song Jiazhuang is located in the north, with cool nights and naturally lower cellar temperatures than the ground, so there is no need to worry. The next morning at midnight, Song Yiren climbed up on a wheel. After wearing it for a few days, Song Yiren has become accustomed to watching the sun rise and sleeping. Not to mention, this habit is really healthy. These days, my body feels better than before. The young man stretched lazily full of energy. She calculated that she had only saved two eggs in the last two days, which was far from enough to make egg cakes, so she had to postpone the plan of egg cakes temporarily. But yesterday in the mountains, not only did I collect fungi and wild vegetables, but I also discovered some wild fungus, wild onions, and wild garlic. This thing is difficult to find in the wild in modern times. That's called green organic food. Iren excitedly picked a lot, until she felt that she might not be able to carry it. Mushroom fungus can be used as a vegetarian dish for mushroom and fungus eggs. Wild onions and garlic can be used to stir-fry pork offal. Iren was calculating in her heart, and roughly calculated the distribution. With just over a pound of flour in her hand, she could make six or seven cakes. But if you want to make mushroom filling, you can have less dough, and making eight cakes is not a problem. The main idea is to have a thin crust and a large filling. There is one kilogram of corn flour mixed with wild vegetables fried in lard, making about ten pancakes she found a water scoop, stirred it with warm water and flour to form a dough, and then tirelessly kneaded it into a smooth dough. After kneading it, she placed the water scoop on the stove to keep it warm and wake up for a moment. When she woke up, she was not idle either. She sliced and diced the mushrooms and fungus, and the knife was done without stopping. If someone else were around at this moment, she would definitely be amazed at her excellent knife skills, which can only be practiced for years and months. Iren added firewood to the stove, dug half a spoonful of lard, and poured the beaten eggs into the pot. The lard moistened the golden eggs, and the fragrance wafted out for miles. She rummaged through the boxes and cabinets at home, finally finding two unused, old water ladles that could temporarily serve as a bowl and scoop out the eggs. Then start the pot and heat it up. Pour the mushrooms and fungus into the pot, and add some salt. Actually, it's best to add a little soy sauce, which is modern soy sauce. But this is something that only big restaurants and wealthy families can afford. Song Yiren dare not expect it too much, at least temporarily, but dreams still need to exist. One day I must open a restaurant. I can put any sauce or other seasoning on it. I gritted my teeth and thought to myself. After stir-frying, turn off the heat. Song Yiren poured the eggs in and mixed them in a large pot. There were really not so many pots and pans at home. After busy with filling, the dough woke up almost completely. Song Yiren divided the dough into small potions according to its size, and surprisingly, nine of them came out. 
Roll out the small potion, wrap it with filling, and Song Yiren uses the method of wrapping buns to wrap it, then flatten it, and a vegetarian three fresh pie is completed. However, in a while, all the vegetarian white flour cakes were ready. Iron started the pot again and cooked the lard, stir-fried the wild vegetables, and then mixed the corn flour with the lard and wild vegetables together. There was no need to wake up the noodles or wrap the filling, just divide the ingredients and make a cake. Remove the pig trotters that were cleaned yesterday from the cellar, but Song Yiren still left the trotters in the cellar and will cook them at night. Slice the pig heart, liver, lungs, etc., and cut the pig intestine into oblique sections. Do not add any oil to the hot pot, discard the fat-rich pig intestines and intestines, do not use too much heat, and slowly simmer the oil out. Half a quarter of an hour later, the pig's large intestine and small intestine were slightly golden, oily, and the whole courtyard was filled with a burnt aroma. Song Yiren used a large spoon to pour the boiled lard into the previous jar, but surprisingly, the jar was full. Leave the base oil in the pot, and throw the chopped wild onions and garlic into the oil. The crackling sound is accompanied by the fragrance of the onions. Put the sliced pig heart, liver, etc. into the pot and stir-fry over high heat. After the pig is cooked in the water, roll up the leaves of the banana and divide them according to the type. Put ten pieces on each leaf, tie the seal with cotton thread, and put them into a basket. Iron girl, did your family eat meat today? A sister dot in dot law passed by Song Iron's door and warmly greeted her through the wooden door. It's just a little bit of pig water, how can you afford meat? Song Yiren searched in the original owner's memory. She was Zheng, the eldest daughter dot in dot law of the Ma family who was not far from her home. She was not only spicy, but also kept talking to her parents, so she didn't want to talk to her in detail, let alone let her enter the hospital. Zheng Shi saw that Song Yiren had no intention of saying more to her, rolled her eyes, and turned around to leave. No matter how beautiful she looks, she's still being laid off by men. This kind of woman is only worthy of eating some stinky pig water. When Song Yiren saw Zhang's departure, he started cooking pork fat and fried the previously packaged pies and corn cakes until both sides were golden brown. He then placed them in a basket covered in cloth. Both baskets are covered with white cloth, one for warmth, and the other for cleanliness. The most important thing in doing food business is to be clean. After finishing everything, it was already noon and Zia Chuanzi also woke up. Song Yiren left a vegetarian cake with three fresh ingredients and shared it with Zia Chuanzi. Send the little bun to Aunt Li, and Song Yiren carries two baskets of pancakes and heads to town. At the dock, Song Yiren placed two baskets under the shade of a tree closest to the dock, and soon the cry of, work stoppage, came out. Song Yiren immediately opened the basket and shouted loudly, the pies made in Beijing are delicious. Cookies with oil and salt added, eat them and save your strength. Delicious and cheap meat, only one cent for ten pieces. Curious people approached to look at the pancake, but were attracted by the beautiful appearance of Song Yiren. Young lady, why bother coming out to work so young? Of course, my family is poor, so I have no choice but to try a pancake, big brother. It's delicious and not expensive. The white flour pie costs two one each, and three one each. The corn and vegetable cake costs one one. What were you shouting about just now? Is there salt in this cake? The workers at the dock are all doing physical labor. If they eat something with salt, their strength will be better. Of course, Big Brother doesn't believe in buying it to try. Song Yiren took out a small piece of cake at the edge of the basket and handed it to Big Brother. This is what she prepared before coming, cutting a cake into small pieces for everyone to try. Then give me a corn cake first. The Big Brother tasted the cake, and it was indeed salty. He nodded repeatedly, but was still cautious and bought a cheaper one. After buying it, I squatted under the shade of a tree and started eating it. I took a bite, but I felt that this corn cake was different from those sold elsewhere. 
It had a meat aroma and didn't scratch my mouth roughly. It did have a salty taste. Big Brother ate all the pancakes after three cuts and five cuts. What are the names of two more white-faced ones for me? Pie, Big Brother, White Noodle Pie, Vegetarian with three fresh ingredients. Yes, yes, just this cake, give me two to try. And that ten yuan meat, really only one cent. What kind of meat is that? The big brother stared at the meat and said again, My surname is Xiao, just call me Brother Xiao. The people around saw that big brother was still unsatisfied and bought two more pancakes. They all gathered around to watch the excitement. As soon as they got closer, Song Yuan timely lifted the white cloth on the basket, and the fragrance wafted out. It was delicious and not expensive, so everyone rushed to buy it. In no time, eight white flower pies and ten wild vegetable corn cakes were sold out. Little lady, I haven't tasted that cake yet, why did I just make this? Don't worry, big brother. I'll come back at this time tomorrow and I'll definitely make more. Today, you can take a look at my ten pieces of meat that only cost one penny. Then let me taste this meat. The reason why Song Yuan never mentioned this as pig water is because people in this dynasty believed that pig water was impure, not because there was a famine in times of famine, and even those with some surplus would not eat it. She listened to her older brother's taste and took out a pack of pig intestines that she thought should be the most fragrant, which she also tried. Little lady, this looks like pig intestines. Aren't you deceiving me? Selling this thing for a penny. Big brother, do you have a fishy smell when you hold it in your hand? The big brother carefully sniffed it, but it wasn't there, so he shook his head. That's okay, you can try it before we talk. It's free. Big brother heard that tasting it didn't cost any money, so he picked up a piece and closed his eyes to chew on it, but he didn't expect the taste to be amazing. He immediately opened his eyes and chewed while nodding. Give me a penny. The people around him were curious about his reaction, but they were also afraid that it would be a pig in the water that would turn their appetite off. Little lady, what is this? Is it pig water? Yes, the big brother bought pig intestines just now, but there is definitely no fishy smell, and the oil aroma is overflowing. If you don't believe me, ask that big brother. Give me another one. Is it also one penny? The big brother who bought the large intestine just now didn't have time to answer them, pointing to the pig liver in the basket and asking Song Yuan. Everyone saw that he didn't have time to answer and paid again. They were afraid of being like pancakes and hesitated, so they couldn't buy it. They all rushed to buy it, and in almost an instant, the pig's water also bottomed out. Ladies and gentlemen, we're all sold out today. I'll come back tomorrow at this time. Have you paid the booth tax for selling things here? A cold male voice rang from the top of Song Yuan's head, as everyone dispersed from the bustling booth just now. End of this chapter. Chapter 9 Protection Fees You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 9 Protection Fee, New Book Seek Spectators, Sir, I have made too many cakes at home, so I can't even set up a stall. Song Yuan originally thought it was an official in the government who wanted to collect taxes. Song Yuan looked up and found that this person was extremely tall, probably 1.9 meters by modern measurement. This person has thick eyebrows and eyes, deep eye sockets, a high and straight nose bridge, and a sharp and angular lower face. Although he looks very beautiful, he still looks like an unopened child no matter how he looks. Song Yuan thought to herself. Seeing Song Yuan stunned, someone raised their eyebrows and stepped on the step next to Song Yuan, unhappy and saying, What's wrong? Are you planning to default on your debts, little lady? Song Yuan didn't know what his background was and didn't dare to offend him, but he also didn't want to bear any booth tax. Excuse me, young Xia, which way do you work for? Song Yuan looked at the handsome man in front of her and could only say a nonsensical question. Shit. What's wrong? I've never heard of Gu Yanfeng's name before, and I still want to set up a stall in my territory. 
I'm tired of you. Song Yiren. Gu Yenfeng. He is Gu Yenfeng. Is it Gu Yenfeng, the young man who died from being trampled on by a horse to save a child in the original work? On the galloping carriage, it was Fu Chunyao and Sima Jianya. Song Yiren looked up and down at Gu Yenfeng, and his appearance was indeed as handsome as in the original work. However, the way he collected protection fees didn't look like a hero who could save children at all. What are you looking at? Grandpa, I'm as beautiful as a flower, pay an extra penny. Pushi. Song Yiren couldn't help but laugh out loud, afraid that the young master's temper might misunderstand him and mock him. She quickly spoke up and explained, like a flower like jade, it describes a girl. You village girl, mocking me for being uneducated. Without explanation, it's okay. After explaining, Master Gu seemed even angrier. At this moment, an older brother who had just bought pancakes approached and whispered to Song Yiren, sister-in-law, this is the young master of our county. Don't offend him. Both streets here are his territory. Song Yiren gave her elder brother a grateful smile and then looked up to ask Gu Yenfeng, how do we calculate money? You know how to read, 10 won per month, 8 won per half month, 1 won per day. After speaking, he proudly lifted his chin and didn't look at Song Yiren anymore. Song Yiren was curious in her heart. Is this 18-year-old brat who collects protection fees really the person who saved the child on the street? I can't say it's completely different, I can only say it's completely unrelated. Song Yiren calculated and just sold eight white flour pancakes, nine corn noodles, and fifteen packs of pork offal, earning a total of thirty-nine won. I still need to buy some noodles and eggs when I go back today. It's ten copper coins a month, and handing them over all at once still hurts me so much. Besides, the recipe for this cake may be learned soon, and she will have to find other tricks. The stall may not be here anymore. Six copper coins per half month, is that okay? No, we can't do it at the same price. Luan, I'll give you a life. Now Gu Yenfeng didn't calm down anymore. He jumped a meter away and shouted loudly, Do you want to blackmail me if you don't want to pay? You wicked woman. Misunderstanding, misunderstanding, I mean, your nose bridge is red with veins and your printing hall is turning blue. There may be a bloody disaster recently, Song Yiren whispered as he approached him. If you believe me, what kind of booth tax is six copper coins per month? I'll give you a solution, maybe it can save your life. Gu Yenfeng also began to look up and down at Song Yiren, and surprisingly smiled angrily. Are you a scoundrel trying to pay booth taxes, or are you a villain trying to cheat money? I can't even say for a moment. The sky and earth are dark and yellow, the universe is vast and desolate. The sun and moon are abundant, and the stars are in full bloom. Do you believe it or not? Two quarters of an hour later, Gu Yenfeng dug out his ear and was really entangled by her, so he could only agree to a booth tax of six won. Gu Yenfeng took six won coins and seemed to want to run away, but was grabbed by Song Yiren's sleeve. Seeing that Song Yiren seemed to have two bodies, he dared not really push her and could only let her pull him. I'm telling you, you really have a disaster of blood and light. My mother is a godmother, and I have known it since I was young. In the past few days, you have been guarding the west end of Hangu Street in the county. If you see a child wandering alone on the street, you should take him to the side of the road and remember to take him down as soon as he enters the street. Gu Yenfeng suppressed impatience, and after Song Yiren finished speaking, he greeted his younger brother and ran away. Song Yiren earned money and met Gu Yenfeng, who may have died tragically, and advised him. Even if he couldn't save him, it was still considered a good deed. So she was in a good mood, crossed two baskets, hummed a little tune, and headed towards the town. Last time at the market, she inquired about the location of the shop selling rice, noodles, and pork. Today, she still needs to go shopping. Five copper coins bought two pounds of flour, one pound of corn flour, and then spent five copper coins to buy one pound of eggs. 
I remember not even having a bowl to hold vegetables at home, spending six when to buy five big, five small, and ten ceramic bowls, and even asking the boss to grind a pair of complimentary long chopsticks. I also bought a small jar the size of a palm, the cheapest shaojiu, and spent three won more. After leaving the rice noodle shop, the entrance is the largest commercial street in the town, with constant cries of sales on the street. Song Yiren looked at the peddler carrying a burden and selling caramel, and without any hesitation, stopped him. Little brother, how do you sell caramels? Sister-in-law, I made this with genuine ingredients from my own family. It's not expensive, it's sweet. It's a mess for a penny. Song Yiren was about to ask how big Ijiao was when he saw a young man selling malt candy take out a small stick, of the same length and thickness, and take out one, gesturing at her. Song Yiren. Oh, so that's just such a stir. Give me four one. Each of the three children costs one yuan, and she has already figured out what new dish to make for the remaining one. Song Yiren filled a pottery bowl with malt candy and carried it in a basket, walking back to the village. Still returning to his own home at the entrance of the village, he put down his things, held a bowl filled with caramel, and walked quickly to Aunt Li's house. Tsueshi, Er Nyo, Yin Yin, come quickly. Song Yiren opened the door and called into the room. Sister, come and answer the voice. Sister Su put down the small clothes she was sewing and welcomed her. My mother took her three children to my field, but it's time to go back. Please sit down and rest. Sujuan's sister. In. Law poured a bowl of water for Song Yiren and saw the candy in her hand with precision. Girl, did you buy this? It's such an expensive thing. It's nothing to offer a tooth sacrifice to three children. Sister in law, don't refuse. Helping me take care of the children has already been a huge help to me. As she was speaking, Aunt Lee came in chattering with her three children from outside. Mother. You're here. As soon as the little boy entered the door, he saw Song Yiren and flew towards her lap. Look, Grandma Lee took us to pick a lot of melon seeds. You eat them. Zia Chuanzi used her small hands to pry open a melon seed and stuffed it into Song Yiren's mouth. In fact, the people of Song Yi are not very accustomed to the taste of raw melon seeds that have not been stir-fried. But in order not to ruin the fun of the small group, Song Yiren still ate happily. You three come quickly. Song Yiren ate the melon seeds and quickly waved to the three children. It's Itang. The oldest Tsueshi cheered first. I took it and licked it, laughing until my eyes narrowed. Li Tsueshi. Don't you know how to say thank you? Su Tu's sister. In. Law blushed. Su Juan's sister. In. Law, it's okay, it's not an outsider. Song Yiren tried to smooth things out. In her opinion, Tsueshi is the eldest of three children, Li, who is only six years old. Tsueshi reluctantly took out candy from her mouth and thanked Song Yiren, thank you, Aunt Song. Erin Yo and Xiao Tuanzi also followed suit, shouting, Thank you, Aunt Song. Zai Chuanzi's actions amused everyone and allowed the children to eat candy. Iron, don't spend so much money in the future. Watching a child is not a big deal, otherwise there are also two monkey cubs at home to watch. Aunt Lee said angrily. This has already been a huge help to me. Song Yiren pulled at Aunt Lee. Besides, I have something else to ask my aunt for. I can't ask for anything, but I can still see if I can handle it. End of this chapter. Chapter 10. Itang and Pig Trotters. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 10 Itang and Pig Trotters, New Book Seeking Spectators, Auntie, I need time to set up a small stall in town and come back to pick some mushrooms and wild vegetables. It's really too late. If when the field is not busy, I would like to invite you to take your child to pick some mushrooms and wild vegetables. If I don't teach you how to work in vain, I will earn money and come back to share it with you every night. Hey, okay, why don't we take the children to play? 
It's just a matter of getting things done, by the way. All right, I'll go home and get busy first, auntie. He waved to the little girl. Enin, let's go home with your mother. Iron, please leave Enin behind. I'll take the three of them to the field, it'll be more convenient. Li Auntie said, scanning Song Iron's bulging stomach. Song Yiren felt Li Auntie's heartache and pity, and instantly felt her throat blocked and her voice choked up. In her past life, she was an orphan, not only lacking in food and clothing, but also without any care. Later on, she also fell in love, either because of a scumbag cheating or because she didn't have a family to support her. Emotionally, it can be said that Song Yiren has never been so close to others, nor has she received any sympathy and love from her elders. Auntie, I. Thank you. Song Yiren hesitated for a while, only to say, thank you, but deeply remembered this kindness in her heart. The young man returned home and didn't have to take care of his two children. He didn't even make lunch and started busy. Take out the remaining pig trotters from the cellar yesterday, wash them with clean water, and heat them a few times with hot water. Divide them into newly purchased large ceramic bowls and set them aside. Take out the unused mortar and wash it inside and out several times. The original owner's cooking was average, at the level of an ordinary peasant woman, and they lived in poverty with Sima Jiangya. This mortar was originally used to pound spices or garlic, and my family was so poor that they couldn't even open the pot, so no one used it anymore. Song Yiren washed the mortar well and dug out the wild onions and garlic that were also stored in the cellar yesterday. He washed them and put them into the mortar in batches to crush and extract juice. After pounding a mortar, transfer it to a pottery bowl, add water and some liquor, stir well, and then pour it onto the pig trotters in a large pottery bowl for pickling. In ancient times, there were not so many seasonings, and she was afraid that the pungent smell of pig trotters would not fade away. Crushing scallions and garlic and marinating them with shaojiu was also an alternative method. When she finished tidying up the pig trotters, Aunt Lee came back with her three children. Iron, let's take a look at our mother's achievements today. Song Yiren quickly greeted him with a smile and said, Auntie, don't leave. When I'm ready to take it back, there's no need to open fire at home tonight. It's such a hot day. Oh, okay. Aunt Lee took off her backpack and poured the contents into a large basin brought by Song Yiren. Look, Irene, these are the wild vegetables, fungus, and mushrooms you instructed to pick. So much. Song Yiren looked in surprise as she poured a pot full of mountain goods. She took the little bun to pick for a few hours yesterday, but not so much. I'm taking three children and teaching them how to know these mountain goods while asking them to help pick them. Aunt Lee said proudly. Although mistakes may occur at the beginning, they won't make any more mistakes in a short while. After speaking, it seemed like she was afraid that Song Yiren would think she was enslaving the child. She quickly explained, children recognize things, use their hands, and their brains grow quickly. They won't tire the children. Song Yiren laughed and said, Auntie, what are you saying? I admire you. The child took care of it, did the work, and even taught the child things. Song Yiren is not polite, but genuinely admires Aunt Lee. Although I was grateful for her help before, I knew she had a knack for working in the fields. But I never thought about receiving 18 years of modern quality education, but I was impressed by Aunt Lee's quality education. Indeed, experts are among the people, and the wisdom of ancient people should not be underestimated. Aunt Lee's face turned blush when she said. Although my four children are not in front of me, they are all brought up by me alone. They are also the best sons, not to mention their great achievements. Auntie. Your fourth child is also studying at the county school, right? Song Yiren chatted with Li Anti, constantly washing the mountain goods in the big basin, those who went to the roots and those who picked the leaves. Aunt Li saw that she was busy and wanted to step forward and give her a hand. Anti, just sit and rest, I'll come. She pressed Auntie Li onto the pony. Speaking of Xiao Si, 
Aunt Lee's face became even more cheerful. Yes, Xiao Si studied well and has been studying in the county for a few years. As the teacher said, it's possible that he will pass the scholar entrance examination in these years. Auntie, I see that Xi'er and Erniu are also intelligent. I just need to send them to study later. Speaking of these two grandchildren, Aunt Lee sighed. Hey, providing their fourth uncle with one at home is already a way of smashing the pot and selling iron. Besides, Xi'er is a girl, and the master doesn't want to accept it either. Although Aunt Lee does not prioritize men over women, this era is still a patriarchal society, and it is even more difficult for ordinary girls from other families to pursue education. Not to mention silver, the absence of female officials in this era means that girls have no way out of studying. Usually, they are daughters of wealthy families who invite private school teachers to teach at home, recognize characters, and only know how to read. Even this is just a means of raising a girl's worth and waiting for the price to be offered when it comes to marriage negotiations. Sensing the anxiety in the atmosphere, Song Yuren glanced aside and saw a basket she usually carried carrying cakes, which contained a small half-basket of melon seeds. Quickly shifting the topic, he said, Auntie, is this something we've picked to eat? Your little one is struggling to recognize wild vegetables and mushrooms. When I saw these nine lamp lotus growing well on the mountain, I picked a few and asked your Yin Yin to pick and play with them. Unexpectedly, her little hands were quick, and she only managed to make half of the basket. Aunt Lee pointed to the little dumpling next to her who was peeling the nine lamp lotus and smiled. Judenglian is a modern sunflower that can be harvested after ripening. However, in this era, there was no mature technique for stir-frying sunflower seeds and peanuts. They were either raw sunflower seeds, which tasted moist but not crispy, and had a natural flavor. Either it's dry frying in the pot, which is very easy to control the heat and burn off, and it's also prone to uneven heating, resulting in the fried goods being half-cooked. So not many people eat it, so there aren't many people selling it. Thinking of this, Song Yiren has a new idea of getting rich. Stir-fried peanuts and melon seeds do not require so many ingredients and seasonings, and can also be made delicious. Tea houses, restaurants, and theaters are all places where they can be sold. But stir-frying is a strenuous job, and as a pregnant woman, she probably cannot work like this for a long time. Take your time, getting rich is not about getting rich. Making money is good. The optimistic and upward personality of Song Yiren played a role. Auntie, I have a good way to make these melon seeds delicious. When I have some free time another day, I'll make them for you to eat. Aunt Lee agreed, but didn't take it too seriously. The time for marinating pig trotters is also enough. Song Yiren heated the pork in the pot, washed wild onions and garlic in the pot, fried until fragrant, and then threw the previously purchased malt sugar into the pot. Aunt Lee had never seen such a practice before, so she couldn't help but walk in and take a closer look, but she didn't ask in the smoke. After the malt sugar is fried and the color is darker, a few large bowls of pig trotters are placed in the pot, flipped over with a cooking shovel until the trotters are slightly golden brown, then salt is added. Finally, the previously boiled hot water is poured into the pot, and the trotters are covered with a lid before stewing. End of this chapter